So I'm going to draw a bar. Then I'm going to right click and say loop selection. Then I'm going to turn my loop on. It's on there. Now this is not to be confused with this loop. That has to do with the, the higher picture. This is the loop we're talking about. If I turn it off, it looks this way. If I turn it on, it's that way. So let's listen. Beats. Tones. Grain size. Texture. Sometimes it's helpful to refresh as well because it's I have grain size here. The further to, bigger I go, it processes less of it. The flux. Whatever flux is, it's a cool name. I don't know about you, I could care less what it's called. I just want to know what it does. That's why I'm down here with you. Repitch. This is like turntables. This is going to be so extremely low, it's going to blow your mind. Here we go. Complex is like, okay, are you sure you want to be down at, you know, this slow? We'll try. And Complex Pro is like, okay, this is going to pull out all the guns. This is everything that the engine can do down here. And this would be if you're working with a, a vocal or a remix or something like that, that you want to no know artifacts at all. And you could get in here and adjust these parameters to really, to really get it. And this would be very handy in the remix world. You know, working with Michael Jackson's last known vocal, rest in peace. Um, you would want to be in this complex pro area. All right, so let's jack it back the other way. I'm going to hit the colon two. Here we go. I'm still in the same loop point. Okay. Now let's change it this back back and take a listen. Okay, they're all very different and you have to work it out. It's gonna be very high. Okay, here it is. If you think there's sound design possibilities in here, you'd be right. Texture. Tones. And beats, one of my favorite. Here we go. Now, the transient menu has to do with all the little places that live thinks it should be cut. Let's go up. And off. All the way up. Okay, so there's some seriously cool things that can happen down in here. And the next session we're going to look at the markers themselves.